Hello, and welcome to this video of the System Tester. My name is Brad Dara. For today's topic, what are the goals of software testing? Now you might ask yourself, the question seems a bit straightforward, Brad, but it's interesting sometimes of the answers you would get to that question. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore some of the questions, some of the answers to that question that I've received as a test lead when I go into an engagement, when I ask my testers, what are some of the goals of software testing? Now in this chart entitled Goals of Software Testing, what I want to do is I want to illustrate some examples of what aren't goals of software testing and what are some goals of software testing. Now the first example of what is not a goal is to certify that an application is 100% bug free. Believe it or not, there are some people that believe that an application can go out into production as 100% bug free. And based upon all my experience, that is not the case. There's always going to be bugs within an application. What the realistic goal corresponding to that would be is to test the high risk areas of the application. This is where you want to identify the most high risk features or things within your application that if they fail, um, they're going to either cost the reputational risk of the application or they're going to cost real dollars. These are the areas that you want to test. You cannot test everything and ensure that the application is 100% bug free. Now the second example of what isn't a goal is to execute tests successfully. Well, people would say, well, isn't that what we're trying to accomplish here? And what I would respond to is, no, we're not trying to just make sure that we get green check marks beside all of our test cases. What the real goal of what we're trying to accomplish here is to identify, document, and retest defects. Our job as the testing team is to look for defects within the application, within the high-risk areas, also known as high-risk-based testing. These are the things we should be focusing on. Our goal is not just to make sure that all of our tests pass. Now, in the third example, to measure the quality of an application. This is one where it's how can you actually measure the quality of an application? Nobody can measure the, the quality of an application. But as a testing team, what you can do is you can provide to leadership, sponsors, project managers, you can provide information and recommendations about the known defects, the things you know about. If, depending on how you've actually graded your defects in terms of high, medium, and low priorities, what are the impacts to the application if these defects go into production? Those are the kinds, that's the kind of information that you want to provide to the leadership. My motto for my test team whenever I go into an engagement is, we're like a newspaper. We report and you decide. So that's just a short list of what aren't and are some goals of software testing. I hope that it helps. If you have any comments of what I spoke about today, or if you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions for some upcoming videos that you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave them in the comment section of this video. And please subscribe to my channel so you can get any updates or any new videos that I produce. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you again next time.